Hi there, and welcome to this Lumion tutorial. Now you can render more than buildings inside Lumion. With Lumion 2023, you're one step closer to creating landscapes that are nothing short of breathtaking. And in this tutorial, we're going to explore how to use Lumion's tools to easily create a stunning landscape. Feel free to open the example model and follow along with this video. Let's dive in. Now, to build our scene effectively, we're going to need to combine two things. Firstly, we can take the controlled approach and build this garden from what's included in the 3D modeling software. And secondly, if you want to have some fun, you can take the intuitive approach and make everything using the landscape tools in Lumion. Now, both options are worth investigating, so let's take a look at them. For the controlled approach, this is how we've imported our model. Now, you'll notice here that there are two partially overlapping surfaces. Now, a pro tip to get perfect grass is to remember that grass is not perfect. And if you want to make your grass look more realistic, it should have patches, an unequal distribution of blades, differences in color, and so on. It's the details that matter. But what if you only have two minutes to build it because you're on a tight deadline? Well, here's a quick cheat for you. Make two almost identical surfaces that are pretty much overlapping, making one higher than the other in certain areas. Then, apply landscape grass onto one of them and 3D grass onto the other. Then try to almost, and I'm serious about the almost, match the color. And it's ready. Now, to take an intuitive approach, first of all, I'm going to make a variation of this model. And now I'm going to make the grass surfaces and the gravel material invisible and now you'll notice some Lumion landscape appears underneath. In landscape mode, you can sculpt the shape of the landscape using the five tools at your disposal, and if you make a mistake, you can always start from scratch using the flatten landscape button. Now we'll decrease the brush radius for more control and sculpt the edges of our lawn area. We already have the landscape grass on, and with a handful of quick adjustments, it's now working to our advantage. You can see how easy it is to play around with, and these tools are great for crafting large-scale environments as well. Also, for our scene, we're going to continue to work with the more controlled approach, so I'll revert back to our original version. And now we're ready to add some plants. When I'm unsure, I always like to add weeds. You can find them everywhere after all, and some of them are quite unique. So we can play around a bit here and use the mass placement tool to scatter them across our lawn area. Now you'll have noticed that we've built out this corner of the garden with an arrangement of plants and I'll just give you a quick insight into how that area was populated. The single placement method will allow us to place this just as we wish and then we can pick some fine detail models to fill out the rest of this area. Mixing a bunch of textures, shapes and sizes of plants helps to make the area more interesting. And we'll also add a row of trees along the wall too, just to give us some more shadows to play with later. So we're going to bring these plants right up to the edge of our paved area. And for some finishing touches, we can use the cluster placement tool to sprinkle some flowers throughout the lawn to give it a natural look. Now this image is coming together quicker than expected, but let's keep moving and jump straight into photo mode to choose our rendering angles. Now we want to focus on the landscape and luckily I saved the effects that we used in our earlier tutorials so I'm going to add those for a quick and easy shortcut too. So let's start our camera position, load the effects and we'll do some small adjustments. And for some added value here we can add the precipitation effect. Now you know you're doing something right when you can smell the petrichor in the image. And now we'll just repeat the process and find a couple of other interesting viewpoints to lock in and render. I'm 
quite happy with what we're seeing, so let's hit the render button and let Lumion do its magic. And there you have it. In just under six minutes, we've created a stunning series of landscape images in Lumion. And I want to quickly show you what's possible if you combine everything that we've created so far in this series of scene building tutorials. With a little extra care and attention, you can turn this scene into something much more interesting. Now let's look at some other landscapes that have been made with Lumion 2023. The possibilities here are endless and the results are impressive. So use that trained architect's eye of yours to make the most of it. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Keep practicing.